Sarah Jividen was recently referred to Dr. Alan Peck after four years of serious GI symptoms such as abdominal pain, cramping, and diarrhea. There were days where I have two young kids and it just got too hard to play with them and I was always having to tell them mommy's tummy hurts. Jividen had what's called Clostridium difficile or C. diff for short. It's initially treated with antibiotics, but in about one out of every three people, that's not enough to keep it and the symptoms from coming back. When you treat a patient with antibiotics for any type of infection, what you find is you not only kill off the bad infection or the bad bacteria, but also the good bacteria. So when you do that, an infection can come into the intestine called C. difficile or Clostridium difficile and cause people to have diarrhea. So Jividen made the decision to have what's called a fecal transplantation. The idea comes from having bad bacteria in the gut and then taking a healthy volunteer, screening them, making sure they're healthy, no infections or anything like that, and then actually taking the stool or fecal matter and through a process that we do in the lab, being able to actually instill it directly into the intestine of the person who has the problem. The stool matter is placed in the intestine with the procedure just like a colonoscopy. In most cases, that has a success rate of over 90 percent. Of curing. Of curing the C. difficile. Sarah says reminding people of the importance of proper hand washing is why she's sharing her story, but she also wants others to know you don't have to live with the symptoms of C. difficile. I feel more normal than I have in the past four years the most healthy I've been. Meredith Keller, Pro News 7.